Ukraine is using a new missile defense system to defend itself against Russian missiles. The United States of America has successfully delivered the NASAMS missile system to Ukraine. In this video, we will discuss how the NASAMS are being used to help Ukraine defend itself against Russia. This is a huge step forward for the Ukrainian army. The NASAMS will now be able to defend against air attacks from Russian-backed forces in eastern Ukraine. Ukraine has been defending itself against Russia for several years, and the most recent development in their conflict is the use of a missile defense system to defend against Russian missiles. The country's National Security and Defense Council confirmed that the NASAMS missile defense system in Ukraine were used to intercept a Russian missile successfully, beginning a new turn in the invasion against Ukraine. Alexei Reznikov, Ukraine's spokesman for the Defense and Security Council, tweeted on November 7th that the military has received a new shipment of weapons. He explained that these weapons will help the Ukrainian army drastically. Ukraine was invaded by Russia in February 2022, and its defenses have nearly been destroyed. The entire country and army are facing uncertainty and challenges. The United States military has sent two NASAMs to reinforce Ukraine's defenses as part of a $770 million aid package announced in July. In addition, Ukraine's air defense will be bolstered with six more NASAMs in the near future. These anti-aircraft missiles will help protect citizens and ground forces from Russian airstrikes. Ukraine has a long history of using Soviet-era S-300 and Buk systems. These weapons have been in Ukraine's arsenal for a long time, which made them an attractive target for Russia during the Crimea crisis in 2014. The S-300 and Buk systems used by Ukraine were becoming more effective over time, and it jumped from 20% effective to around 60% effective in the most recent invasion by Russia, but their stocks have become low. With only around 250 missiles for these specific systems before the war, Ukraine has become drastically close to running out of weapons to defend itself. NASAMS, or the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, is a combined missile system that can simultaneously track and intercept both aircraft and missiles. NASAMS is produced by Konsberg, a Norwegian aerospace and defense firm in partnership with Raytheon, an American defense company. Used commonly by fighter jets and Western countries, NASAMS uses AMRAMS instead, which alleviates the supply problem in Ukraine. The use of NASAMS in Ukraine has been a significant step in the evolution of air defense. This system has been designed to provide a higher level of protection than its Soviet-era predecessors, the S-300 and Buk missile systems. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization has been using the NASAMS air defense system for over two decades to protect its member countries. It can detect and track incoming aircraft, direct fighter aircraft to intercept them, and launch missiles against ground troops. In 2016, NASAMs were deployed in Turkey to protect the country from terrorist attacks. This is a perfect example of how the use of NASAMs will save lives. Ukrainian troops recently completed training in Norway on how to maintain and operate these systems properly. NASAMs are modular systems composed of three parts. The radar, which detects incoming aircraft missiles and drones, the missile launcher for firing up to four different kinds of missiles, and a remote command and control. This highly sophisticated system uses medium-range radar, a fire distribution center control computer, and missiles to detect and destroy targets. Furthermore, an optional infrared camera can detect missiles heat signatures at night. A NASAMs can be installed quickly and occupies little space. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to like and subscribe to Military Minds for more videos about the latest in military tech and information. This system was developed in the 1990s and has been used by the United States since 2005. NASAMS also holds a place in various countries, including Norway, Finland, Oman, and a few others. NASAMS can protect larger sites that are spread out over a large area with new and innovative technology. Typically, these systems are used to protect military installations, infrastructure, and populations from aerial threats. NASAMs are the only surface-to-air missile system in the world that can simultaneously engage multiple targets from the ground with nearly 100% efficiency. NASAMs can be controlled or operated remotely from up to 25 kilometers away. The National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile Systems Mobile Command Center is a new version of the Mobile Command Center for soldiers to monitor. This new technology can be broken down into two different parts, a military vehicle and a trailer. The trailer houses a range of equipment, including computers, radio communications, and other devices. These systems can be moved and towed by trucks, which make it easier to deploy them to different locations. 
This system is designed for mid-range air and missile defense for U.S. Army forces and is used alongside the Patriot Missile and the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System on American home territory. Medium-range air defense systems are a type of anti-aircraft missile system. As opposed to Patriot missile systems, they are less damaging and have a shorter range than Stinger systems. The Patriot systems weren't feasible to send to Ukraine because of the need for more soldiers to run it, taking about 90 soldiers to operate one. Ukraine didn't have enough soldiers to send to train to use these systems, so the NASAMS was decided upon in the aid package by the United States. These missiles are effective against drones, helicopters, jets, and cruise missiles. Right now, NASAMS is being considered as part of a 15-nation German-led project called European Sky Shield. The project aims to protect this group of countries from threats in the sky using a network of NASAMS. This highly sophisticated piece of military equipment can detect and destroy enemy aircraft, missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles at ranges of up to 25 miles using special radars and sensors. This system is designed to provide all-weather air defense protection for military installations. In order for the system to work correctly, it needs to be able to detect and track the target from its launch point all the way until it hits its target. This requires a radar system that can search for targets from a long distance away and then track them as they approach their destination. The NASAM systems includes a Sentinel A3 radar surveillance unit and six launchers. And importantly, NASAMS has identification systems to avoid friendly fire situations. Raytheon introduced the MQ-64FI Sentinel radar with high-resolution 3D pencil beam surveillance, passive electro-optic and infrared sensors, and a real-time communication network. This radar can cover 160 kilometers in length, providing day and night all-weather capability. It is a highly effective weapon against aircraft and helicopters, including such low-tech tactical missiles as the AT-3 and AT-4. The six launchers fire either an AMRAAM or AIM-120 missiles, depending on their distance from the target. NASAMS can launch regular AMRAAMs, originally first used in 1994, and is also starting to use AMRAAM extended range missiles in the new NAMSAMS-2 and NAMSAMS-3 upgrades. Speaking of the NAMSAMS-2 and the NAMSAMS-3, it is unclear whether or not Ukraine will receive only the original NAMSAMS or if they will also receive the upgraded versions. The newest NAMSAMs produced in 2022 will be equipped with the latest in technology, including the new Ghost I MR radar system that will be paired extensively with the use of AMRAAM ER missiles. In Ukraine, NAMSAMs are beneficial for many reasons. One reason is that it can identify an enemy from afar and fire missiles at their location with accuracy. Another reason is that they can be remotely controlled by commanders, so they don't have to be near the battlefront to issue commands to troops on the ground. For a couple of weeks now, the Ukrainian military has been using NAMSAMs with great success. Using the system, missiles can be fired with pinpoint accuracy and strike down the most common threats from the sky. The NASAMs will provide air defenders with a state-of-the-art tailorable defense system that can identify, engage, and destroy threats high up in the sky. Did you learn something new about the NASAMs defense system that Ukraine is now using? Tell us in the comments. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Military Minds, and remember to like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.